So this is the Microsoft Office installed and running on the Chrome OS Flex. You can check out all the programs like the MS Word. So this is the MS Word 2010. You can access the file, open up new document, create new documents, access all the other options for formatting. Similarly, we have the MS Excel with all the options accessible. working without any issues so let's see how you can install it on your computer as well so right now you can see I'm on the Google Chrome OS this is the beta version Chrome OS flex so first we need to go to the developer and enable the Linux option so I already have it enabled so uh, set the size to whatever but uh, I will recommend uh, above 20 to 30 GB at least now we'll visit this website and install an app store so this will help us to install the package so after you have uh, opened up the terminal just click on the penguin icon or the penguin logo and the terminal will start now we will just copy and run all these commands one by one so I have all these uh, package already installed similarly the uh, other commands this will install the app store that we are going to use Now this is for the app store and finally the uh, the repository for the flat hub that it is going to access all the applications and programs from so after it's done we have to close the Linux and then restart it so right click on the terminal and just uh, shut down Linux and after it has shut down with you will see the icon disappear now just click on it again and it's going to restart the system click on the penguin now after for uh, after a while it's going to re restart the terminal and uh, I already have installed a lot of applications Linux and uh, uh, you can see the app store right there this is the software so just click on it the first time it may take some time to load up all the applications now just click on the search icon which is at the top left and here we will search for play on Linux So second program is remember the icon this is what we want after you have installed it just launch the application this app store will also help you install any other application that you want so it's a really helpful uh, tool as well so now this is how you will see but you will not see all the ms office programs i've installed it so what we need to do is have we have to download the MS Office 2010 or 2013 if you want. You can Google and download it from the online websites. And you have to extract it. So in the Google Chrome OS you can simply double click on the uh, the archive file and then copy paste the content. And make sure you have the uh, setup.exe. This is the important file that has to be inside the archive folder. Now just click on create new and you will see all the programs load all the lists load up you have a lot of games as well so we're going to ignore it and just click on uh, install from a local program with the options that you see on the bottom left now click on next and we here we need to actually create a new virtual drive that will be the c drive so just name it something unique and you have to remember that uh, sometimes it may happen that this process won't go as planned so select 32 bit uh, system 
it's going to take some time and now it's going to use wine you may have heard about wine this is kind of a, a graphical installer for that so what i'm going to uh, what i was saying that uh, it may crash and say that uh, something like this you see this error so if you see this error you can just cancel out from this option and just restart the process from the creating the new virtual drive or close down the whole program like i've done here and then restart the process and after that uh, you will see the option to install the program so click on browse and then you will have to select the setup.exe file so make sure you have that uh, windows uh, microsoft office program in the linux file or otherwise you won't be able to access it now you can see the setup screen for the ms office now click on the install now option the installation process can take a long time for me it took more than an hour so depending upon your system it may vary and if it fails for some reason or gets stuck make sure you restart and just restart the process as it's not a hundred percent guarantee but uh, it did work for me i just it needed a couple of try but it did work out at the end so after it is going to scan for the virtual drive again and you will see this option and uh, what we need to do is on, on the other linux uh, operating system is going to create the all the shortcuts automatically but here i needed to do it manually to search for the word.exe excel.exe uh, files like that like here then just click on next and it's going to create the shortcut uh, on the plan on linux the home page similarly you have to do it for other files as well we only need to do this uh, process once so we have to find all the applications that we like OneNote, excel powerpoint and similar and then create a the shortcut one by one and uh, if you do not see the screen or if you have like cancel out of the screen you can still create the shortcut you just need to uh, click on the configure and here you need to so you need to select your virtual drive that you created now just create uh, click on the options for create a shortcut and now it's going to load up the screen again with all the files and you can select it from here or you can just click on the top option to create uh, to browse so this option will open up the uh, the actual location of the files in the program data that we have seen in windows and manually we can go into the microsoft office folder and uh, we can choose the file from here as well it's similar to that of previous options but it's much easier to look for the files here like we have found one for the uh, one note so just click on next and it's going to create the shortcut you can also change the name of the shortcut if you want but that's how you just do it for the ms office you can see we have the shortcut for the word excel powerpoint and OneNote. so that was how you can install ms office on chrome os flex i hope you like this video i'll see you in the next one